it's never good to live in fear. University is, is changing, like a lot of places are changing. I'm like ground zero right here. You can look out and see what's happening. When, when this, all this light rail is done, it's, it's going to be a, a nice step. Hi, I'm Patricia Y, a.k.a. Yaya, and I own and operate the Edge Coffee House. I am Rich Normandin from the city of St. Paul. How is your business doing through all of this? It's been crazy. You know, when I took over, okay, we were doing great. And then the economy fell apart. Okay, and we went from closing at three o'clock to me having to be open until seven just to make what or come close to or to try to approach what I had been making by three o'clock before. And then so then I started making my own soups and sandwiches and stuff and rebuilding the business and I got reestablished. It was like, okay, now I'm not only a coffee house, but people come for soups and sandwiches and stuff. And that was great. And now we've got the light rail situation out here. And the last four weeks have been a ghost town in here. Did you have any trouble parking? I did. Uh, U University Avenue is pretty well torn up. Uh, hopefully the light rail uh, will fix this uh, avenue at some point and, and uh, make it uh, the way it used to be. But I'm optimistic, you know, um, I'll rebuild. That's all I can do is, you know, do what I have to do to try to rebuild a second time. It's like you can either sit there and complain about it or just, you know, try to rise to the occasion. <laughs> well, I've been coming here for two years now, and, and every time I come into your uh, coffee shop, the Edge Coffee Shop, it's, it's always been filled with people. It's a throwback to the old days where uh, you, know, you know who the people coming in, you see them every day sometimes. Uh, it's, uh, it's a nice, friendly place to meet people and, and meet new people. Because we love supporting the local economy. And the community. And the community. Sure. And I hope that University Avenue continues to have a community of people existing on it when they're done. Right. Who knows what it's really going to look like when it's done. When they got their first big trucks out here, I thought that was really pretty exciting. They have done a nice job with the flow of traffic, pretty much. You know, it has its moments of, you know, extreme congestion but it really flows pretty good so if people do want to come over here I highly suggest it because you're not going to have a problem. Has some of the businesses in the area been supportive of, of everything and helping each each and every other business out a little bit? Well we're all in this boat together and we want to see each other succeed and continue.